Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about colour analysis. As a personal shopper this is something that I really love to take into consideration with clients, however it's not something that you should get too overwhelmed with because I still believe that you should break the rules and wear whatever colours that you like. However it is really useful to know what ones will make you look your best. When you wear colours that suit you, your eyes will look sparklier, your skin will look clearer, your dark circles, double chins, pimples and spots will all be more disguised and obviously that's something that we would all prefer to aim for. So I'm going to use the seasonal colour analysis because it is the earliest and also the simplest form of colour analysis. However, it might seem complex right now while I'm talking about it, it's not complex enough because not everybody can be divided into one of four groups, but it's a good place to start. So how do you find out what season you are? There are two things that you need to look at. The first thing is you need to decide whether you are cool or warm based undertone. The second thing you need to look at is whether you are deep or light in your overall colouring. So the first step is whether you are cool or whether you are warm in your undertone. The undertone of your skin is genetic, it can never change. Un unlike the overtone, the overtone can be changed by sun exposure and also by blood pressure. So disregard that, don't think about that, undertone is what we are looking at. Are you cool or are you warm? There are three ways to find out. Step number one is to take some gold material and some silver material, preferably with no makeup on and in natural light, hold them up to your face and try and decide which one makes you look better. One should clearly make your skin nicer, like I said before, your eyes brighter, all these things. The other one would probably make you look more drained and washed out. It would highlight dark circles and bad skin. Unfortunately, I don't really have a good example of gold or silver. I have this kind of a yellowy mustardy color, um, which I suppose is similar to gold. And I have this um, dark gray-ish silver. Um, so it's really not a good representation and also I feel that this rule does not suit me because I'm quite neutral when it comes to the gold and silver test. Some people will find that they can wear both gold and silver and this applies to jewellery as well. So this is not that accurate so let's get rid of that. I have some jewellery. I think that gold suits me best so there I go already breaking the rules because I am actually a cool undertone and so silver should look better on me but that's why we have three tests to find out which one you are because the other two do not fail me. The second test is to go into a department store like uh, Arnett's or Debenham's, ones where they have the fancier makeup and go there and get the person working there to try out foundation on you. All of these foundation brands are divided into two groups. They have pinky based foundations and yellowy based foundations. If you try one on either side of your face, you should find that one blends in naturally to your skin tone and the other one just looks like it's sitting there, like it's painted on. So if the pinky based foundation suits you best, then you are cool undertoned like me. And if the yellowy one suits, your, suits you best, then you are warm undertoned like the other people. Second, no, third test is the vein test. So everybody's veins are either a bluey or a greeny colored. I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but my veins are blue, which means that I am cool undertoned. If your veins are green, then that means you are warm undertoned. So now you have decided whether you are cool or warm based. So you have narrowed the four seasons down to two seasons. The way you find out which season you are after that is based on how dark or how deep your colouring is. So I've made this little uh, diagram in order to break it down because even I find this really hard to remember and uh, because the, the vocabulary is not the way you think it would go. The cool undertones are winter and summer. So summer being cool sounds strange, I know. And then the warm ones are autumn and spring. So you have to decide from there whether your colouring, basically based on your hair and your eyes a little bit as well, is dark or light. So my colour category is winter because I am cool based but I have overall darker features. My hair is naturally dark brown to black and most of the time I have it dyed a deep red so that would bring me into the winter category. 
If you are cool based but you have lighter colouring, so your hair is mid um, light blonde to medium brown and you have lighter coloured eyes, then you are summer. If you are a warm undertoned person and you have dark overall colouring, so dark hair, dark eyes, then you are autumn. And if you are warm undertoned but you have lighter colouring, so again light brown to medium um, sorry, light blonde to medium brown, then you are spring. Now, natural redheads would usually fall into warm undertone because they have a lot of pigment, so it depends on how intense their colouring is. If it's very deep, they're going to be autumn, and if it's lighter, then they're going to be spring. So I have some examples of colours that look awful on me. So as a winter, I should never wear anything that's uh, kind of cream or camel or biscuity coloured. Um, for me, the best colours as a winter are anything that are bright, clear, like pure red, pure blue, black and white also look good on winter. Here are some examples of colours that do me no favours at all. I have them in my wardrobe because I like variety, but I just put them on and I feel awful. So I don't really know why they're there, to be honest, so get rid of them. Colours that do look good on me are, for example, red, my favourite. Um, pure crisp white is a great neutral if you're winter and colours like pure crisp bright blue. So there's a good example for you. Katy Perry's in my camp, she's a winter too, but sometimes she gets it wrong, like here. Oh so much nicer, these bright bold colours are gorgeous on her. If you wear summer, blue colours will look lovely on you, as will any rose or blue undertoned colours. For pastels, you can go for things like lavender or powder blue or powder pink. You should avoid any yellowy, orangey based undertones and black isn't great on you either. Dakota Johnson is an example of summer. To be fair, she's really not looking her best in the bottom left photo. and She's probably not supposed to either for the role, but these colours really don't suit her. Now look at these, so gorgeous, what a difference. If you're autumn, you should go with the colours that we typically associate with this season in nature. So colours that have a golden undertone. Colours like gold, orange, beige, um, mossy coloured greens, deep reds, these will look really, really beautiful on you. You should avoid blue tones as they will not make you look your best. Why did I choose JLo? Can JLo ever look bad? Not really, but at the same time, these colours don't suit her autumn complexion. Now, these colours, on the other hand, this is JLo at her best. And if you are spring, you are similar to autumn because you should also aim for colours that have a goldy undertone, but they are just a little bit lighter and less deep than the autumn colours. So again, gold and camel looks lovely, but more peachy colours, um, kind of more muted colours, I suppose you'd say. You should avoid anything that's very dull or very deep, as this will make you look washed out. No, Nicole, why are you washing away your springy loveliness? Ah, what a difference a colour can make. So that's it. I hope that you found that useful and that you're not more confused than before I started. It is a little bit complex, but at the same time, it's not complex enough. So if you'd like to see a more detailed version using the tonal analysis, which is the one that I prefer, then please just leave a comment and let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and have a great day.